So in my last vlog you saw me gutting the ambulance, the Mercedes Sprinter, thousands of screws, miles of wire, had some good bits in it. <clears throat> that was a tough gig and it took me weeks to empty out basically a quarter of a million dollars worth of ambulance. That's how much it cost to, um, to build an ambulance inside a Sprinter van. So now it's time to build my home on wheels. I hope you enjoy the vlog. So we insulated the wall and now I'm um, covering the insulated wall with a, hmm, what am I covering it with? I'm covering it with this, the Thermaliner from Amatel. Um, and I'm just using some industrial double tape, you can see the red stuff. And I've just taken that bit off to lay it. So yeah, so that'll give it really good insulation. And I've run out of timber, so I'm waiting. It's public holiday today, so I'm waiting to get some more timber for the framing. Yeah, that's where we are today. Again, still craziness in our bush. Um, the weather's been interesting in northern New South Wales. It hasn't stopped raining, so we've got a cyclone off the coast, so it's giving me a bit of grief, but uh, I'm in shorts and a T-shirt, so it's still 28 degrees. Um, just bloody wet. A little bit of uh, still raining, and we pissing down. So I've got a few cuts to make, I'll have to make inside the van. Got the jigsaw out. And there we go. Okay, van build starting to look like a van. So I've got the wood panelling up and uh, around boxed up the windows. And I've actually put the bed together. A bit of ad adaptation. So yeah, the slats are Ikea, but the rest I had to make them fit. And then as you can see, so I've moulded those around. But certainly getting there. And the first day of hardly any rain. There's still a bit of rain around, but not as much. Anyway, that's where we're at. sink placement, the beds in fridge and dunny cabinet, bed tall cabinet and this is the kitchen cabinet so and then it'll be a walk through straight through both doors. So that's where we're going at the moment. I've got a little mini gazebo, it's finally stopped raining. So now I'm actually got gazebos out because it's too bloody hot. So God love Australia. God love up here. It's raining one day, perfect the next. Another great day out here. Finally, the rain is gone. Another cyclone, so installation of the Max Air fan, which was a bloody relief. Dave came and helped me there. I've started the design of my back window or back door, I should say. So that'll be covered um, as well. But yeah, see the opening of that. 
and then uh, comes up to the sink. I've obviously got a heap of shit in there at the moment. So yeah, so there you go. And I've installed the sink. Obviously nothing's bolted down yet. And just finished off all doing all the roof around everything. Again, stuff hasn't all been secured yet. Just not securing it until. So the only panel we've got to go is this one across the front, but still got a lot of that ambulance wire in. So I'll just check on a sparky, make sure I'm all good there. And uh, yeah. So that's what's happening. I'd spend a day out bush. And again, the workshop, so everything's just piling up. Oh, that craziness. There's bed. Indy's house, broken ute area, and the band. Um, so yeah, we're up to our solar, so it's been a busy time. I'm just uh, screwing the brackets on all of the solar power. Um, yeah, so just getting the brackets on, and then we'll get up and put them on. I think I'm going to put them at the back. I've been up there. So yeah, so it's consistent today. Oh, sealing the sink in properly. Um, just final few panels. Finish the door wells and some of the other bits and bobs. Yes, there's a few issues there. So, yeah, so it's all about electrical today. So I've got the 200 amp hour and then there's, uh, then the control box, solar controller, all that sort of gap. So I need to get it on the roof and work through what that looks like. So, yeah, so it's been a biggie. Um, and, uh, yes, the graveyard of ambulance is still surviving so yeah so i want to get all this stuff on the roof max air vent was done so i got my two triangles up and i'll start with the woodwork around those so yep electrical day god help me it's um been a little hectic if we look through my old workshop here on um, the laptop and everything else trying to no internet yeah another beautiful day in the rainforest guess what it's raining well prepared, but the van is all locked up today. It's uh, indoor activity, so it's starting to try to pack up. A little area over there for my timber work. I'm just trying to keep everything as dry as possible. For this reason. You can see how much rain. This is my fancy dishwasher. Just uh, put the washing in the bucket and let the rain wash it overnight. So that's working well for me. Right. Hey. I'm up the sunny coast to visit some mates, do a little bit of electrical, and I've wired all the puck lights in parallel, allegedly, and it didn't work. And so I rewired it with different connections, and guess what? We have some power which is cool although I do have one random one that doesn't work so I'll suss out what's going on there um yeah so it's been a bit of a bloody nightmare I know I know what they're all saying um yeah but any anyway. blowing help up today I don't know where he is Bink where are you with the blower yeah. what about cleaning like the inside okay don't have me toe ball washed. Up in there. Yeah. Right. Now, yet, yeah, stand at the back and then blow it this way. Now, the other way. Yeah, blow it towards me. So it doesn't go under the bed. That's it, go on. Thanks. Yes.